Hello, Plosity Posse, welcome back to Polosity, and welcome back to the Pokemon Storm Silver Nuzlocke right here on Polosity. How y'all doing today? I'm glad to be here. I'm excited to be here because we're finally going to start the Nuzlocke portion of this game. We're going to start getting some more encounters, more than what we have, the two that we have already. We're going to start building the team, and uh, hopefully we get to the city where the first gym lies today. So if you're hyped for this video, smash the like button down below. Comment in the comment section, ring that notification bell, and just follow me on my socials. You can follow me right here underneath my uh, microphone here, Paulosity underscore PL on Twitter. Uh, let's get rolling. Uh, really nothing else I have to say. We, I guess we could give you a quick team recap if for some reason you missed the first episode. Uh, we have Bonfire, the Cyndaquil, Sassy Nature, somewhat vain. She is, she is... Got that fire coming out of her back. She got flash fire, which is being powered up by the fire type moves she's getting hit by. And her move set is quite oh, right down there. Bottom of screen, duh, is tackle leer and smoke screen. Then we've got Eva, the modest, somewhat vain, looking like a Jolteon, Vaporeon, Espeon, possibly. Uh Eevee coming in the future. Adaptability powers up moves of the same type. Tackle will get powered up with the adaptability, uh, which is good because her attack is very terrible. And uh, she's got the moveset of Tail Whip Tackle, Helping Hand, and Sand Attack. So, we're going to start this episode off by getting our first encounter. I have Pokeballs now. This is what we're going to catch for the first encounter of this game. And it's garbage. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, beginning that we already have a normal type. I will not be catching this. Um, I will not be catching this. We'll drop the volume down just a smidge. Um, Alright. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, I think I'm just going to tackle it and hope I don't kill it. Ooh, it's got Dizzy Punch early on. That's not bad, I, I won't argue. But 15 Pokeballs should be plenty to catch this little ferret baby. Slide out into my pocket, ferret baby. Yeah, now I'm going to probably have to heal up. I don't need to be... Uh, I do not need to be taken out by a sentry this early on in this game. I, I just I, I would not be able to live with myself if that's if this is if this is how I lose a mon. I, I Sentra is not worth it. I don't care how much dizzy punch it has. I am not going to let this thing run rampant on my team. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry to hear that. Um One more ball. I'm hoping this catches it. I don't want to have to hit it again. One, two, three, baby. That's how you catch a ferret, baby. <laughs> right like that. Just like that. The ferret baby was caught. We are going to name this thing, um... Is it a male or a female? A male. So we're going to name this thing Slim. I don't know why, but it's a ferret. So Slim... We'll join the team. It's going to become a thin, thin ferret if it evolves, if it ever gets there, if I ever let it join the squadron. I don't think at this point I'm going to, but who knows? Brave nature, somewhat of a clown. We've got attack and then keen eye. And it's got the moveset of scratch, foresight, and dizzy punch. Can we move these around? Yeah, that's a little bit. I like having my stronger moves in the number one slot. I, I don't know. I just have a I just have a thing. So let's do that. In the first episode, guys, of this, uh, I'm going to try to keep it down, but I'm going to try to work on my, my speech here going forward. Oh, man, I would have loved a Starly. Are you kidding me? I could have had that and you give me garbage. Ugh. Anyway, I'm going to work on my speech. I, I noticed in episode one, my... Uh, Clicking of my lips was very annoying. I felt like rewatching the uh, footage and rewatching the episode my, myself. Uh, so I will work on that. I will work on my speech. So that way, going forward, you don't have to deal with my clicking. It might still happen. I can't guarantee that it won't. But uh, 
you know what? I'm going to do my very best not to do that with my lips anymore because I understand how annoying that can be looking at it from the outside. So let's just get out of these battles. Hey, the more I start talking over these battles, the more I'm realizing I should be cutting these battles out in all honesty, but I have stuff to say. I have a voice to. I have things to talk about. So just wonder how you guys are all doing today. I'm actually doing great. We just get, went to the pool today. This is like one of the last days of our vacation, so I'm actually really excited that, you know, I'm getting this out. And look at we got Fampy. I think Fampy's joining the squad. But I, uh, you know, it's one of our last days of our vacation, and uh, I just, you know, really working on... I just did it again. Really working on coming out of this vacation, going back to work, and going back to the daily grind trying to keep up with the videos and keeping up with everything else. I'm really going to do my best to focus on quantity um, and quality together. I'm going to really do my best to try to focus on both. I don't want to overwork myself. I realize that's very possible um, being that the labor right now where in the workforce is what it is, but I, I don't want to slack on the YouTube side of things either. So... I'm going to do my best for you guys to uh, get some consistent content and make sure we don't miss any uploads, whether it be G Fuel episodes or, or G Fuel videos or these episodes here. I really, I'm going to do my best. So, just want to get that out there and let you know so that we going forward, we, we have an agreement that I'm working for you. And I love you guys, and uh, you know what? I hope you enjoy the content. We got this fan P here. I'm also going to try to work on myself going after this vacation go back I gotta we just bought a treadmill today which is super exciting uh, really gotta try to get after work do a quick you know we can get a quick workout in and get hyped up for these episodes or vice versa after recording I can get into get into doing some stuff so you know workouts and I can watch some stuff and it I, I just I'm excited this this treadmill is gonna be kind of game-changing when we get it next week and uh, you know I just try to work on myself and I know let's see what should we name you um, let's name you, because you're a male, let's name you Tantor. Uh, Elephant from Tarzan, we are going to name you Tantor. And that will get us there. So anyway, yeah, I just, I'm excited to try to let this, I, relaxing out of this vacation and, and feeling supercharged has left me motivated to do better and be better, so... We'll see how that goes going forward. But yeah, let me know, guys, down in the comment section down below how you guys have been in this layoff that I've had on the channel. I know I haven't talked to you much. Uh, I've seen some of your comments in the G Fuel videos, and I appreciate all the support on those videos. But you know what? My bread is buttered on this content right here. And, uh, you know, G Fuel videos are great. I love reviewing products like that. But my bread is certainly buttered doing this stuff here. Alright, so I just healed up, and I did not remove anybody from the party. I just want to say that right now. I did not remove anybody from the party. Uh, Slim is going to kind of be death fodder, just in case. Um, attack is up. Brave nature? Okay. Attack up, speed down. Special attack up, speed down for Tantor and pick up. So, I'm going to be a little bit more in the mood to train Tantor over uh, Slim right now. But that's not a problem. But I do need to come in here and make sure we stay stocked up on items at all times. Uh, how many potions do we have? Is he going to tell me how many I have in my bag? Six? Okay. Definitely need antidotes. I've only got one. Let's make this an even ten. I'll buy nine. I don't want to... I, I, I don't want to get stuck having a paralyze or a... Uh, a poison effect killing me or, or, or really... Hurting me, so we're gonna get a little bit of both. Gotta stay, gotta keep those uh, in stock at all times in my bag. And then balls. Let's do. I think it's better actually if I rotate this way. Uh, let's do. I just used three. I guess I can replenish the three I just used. So that's what I'll do. All right. So I think I have like zero dollars in my in my bag right now, which is fine. Uh, but we did get the old rod. So now that we're here, we got the old rod in one of the last episodes. That was a weird glitch there. Um, 
Let me go into my bag. And find the old rod. I'm going to register it, and then we're going to use it. But hopefully, if I get a good bite right here, it's not a Magikarp. Hopefully, it's something better than a Magikarp. I am going to cut, guys, to when I finally catch something on my line. I guess I didn't have to cut at all. What do we get? Oh, I'll take it. Oh, I'll take that. I will take that. All right. Do you you got to have bubble, right? That's awesome. Oh, that is great. Evie? Eva's coming out. Evie's coming out. It can harden all it wants. That's just helping me. Um, let's just hit this thing with a tackle. And just let this thing keep hardening. But yeah, I guess I can go over a couple things on what I did on my vacation. Uh, you know, we went to the, uh, the zoo. Um, we drove in about an hour and a half to go to the zoo. That was cool. Um, really good, exhausting day in the heat. And then uh, that was on Saturday. And then on um, the Friday before the zoo, we actually went to the beach and spent time in the pool with my wife's family. And that was a good time. And, uh, you know... We didn't just lay on our butts all day. We didn't just do nothing. I actually had stuff I, we had planned, and we actually did things. We went to a baseball game. And, um, you know, we just we just took the advantage of having the time off to actually go out and do things that in other instances we would not be able to do. And I think I'm very fortunate that I have that ability to, uh, that I was able to do that. And uh, my vacation was long enough to where I could actually do some things that, wasn't relaxing, but then I also left some days to relax as well, like today, where we went to the pool, and then I came back, and now I'm working on these videos, and it's, you know, even though it's work, it doesn't feel like work if you love what you do, so, uh, core fish, huh? Hmm. Let's do... It's not a female, so Claudia won't work. Claude, I guess you could do, but that's kind of overused. Mr. Krabs is probably overused. Larry the Lobster? Larry? Do you want to do Larry? No, I used Larry in the last game. I used Larry and Emerald when we caught it, even though we didn't really put Larry on the team ever. I think that's overused as well. Let's figure this out. Pincher? Uh, Pinchy? Um... Anybody have any suggestions? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't even know. All right, so we're going to name it Orion. And Orion is a constellation in the sky, being that when Corefish evolves into Crawdon, it has a star on its head. Orion was a mighty hunter and the son of Poseidon, who was the king of the seas, uh, and he was turned into a constellation by Zeus. I think... I think that's a pretty fitting name, if I do say so myself. So we are going to name him... Where is... Oh, oh, right where I was. We are going to name him... Orion. And Orion is joining the squad right away. Let's get Orion in front. No held item. Let's take a look at him real quick here and see what nature he's rocking. Impish, proud of its power. Okay. Bubble Harden. Not the best, but it's got a pretty good special, uh, pardon me, pretty good defense stat as his special defense is down and it's protected by critical hits with shell armor. And there he is walking behind us. Look at that little guy. Look at him. Oh, man. Little Crawdon, or little Corfish. <laughs> I'm going to go heal up and we will head out in the next route in a second. All right, so we are ready to move on. 
and advance it to the next route where we're gonna get another encounter. What are we at, five now? Five members? Yeah, and we're gonna have to make some decisions here soon about if we uh, do any swap skis here of any members. Let's see who we got in this route. Not happy. Um, I'm gonna catch it anyway. Gonna use bubble, hope it doesn't kill. That's my, my, uh, oh man, bug bite. I was gonna say, that would be my tactic. But bug bite, it ain't messing around. Critical hit. Here comes the poison sting. And now I'm poisoned, of course. Of course. Let's see here. Uh, I I am gonna start throwing balls, and I hope and, and if I get any lower, I'll switch out. I have the antidotes to heal before I go back to the Pokemon Center, so I don't have to worry about my Pokemon dying on its way back. But we did catch the Weedle, so that's fine. We are going to name this female. We're going to borrow a name from A Drive as his age as his names for his female B drills are amazing. We're going to name it Beyonce. And Beyonce will head to the box. I am quite certain I do not want it on my team. I pressed the wrong button there. Let's see. Um I can't, okay, I have to go to my bag to use the item. I'm just gonna just use it there. I just did the click of my lips again. I know it showed, I know it picked up on the microphone. Oh, man. All right, use the uh, antidote. And now we'll make our trip back. I don't know if in this game the poison wears off or not, but if it does, it does. And another flying type I would have gladly had joined my team. But it seems like in every route that there's a good flying type, I get the crappy encounter on that route instead. Damn shame. Very shameful. Alright, I am back. I adjusted uh, my camera. I realized I was a little off-center, so I adjusted that a little bit. And uh, I deposited Beyonce into the box, so we're ready to continue now. And finally take on some trainers. We haven't taken on any trainers besides a rival yet, and we have a pretty diverse team right now to take some trainers on with. So I'm excited to see what we can do with this squad. And here we go. We've got, I think this is Youngster Joey, is it? Wait, is it? It actually might be. Yes, it is. Youngster Joey in this game is your very first trainer that you battle. He loves his shorts. Here we go. All right, so this should not be much of a problem. That should not be much of a problem. Our Orion is a dodgy boy, and he does not hit hard very much at all, but he is a dodgy boy. That is in... That is a fact. Okay, so that quick attack actually does quite a bit of damage. Uh, I might have to switch out. I might have to switch out. Even though I'm at level 7 and my defense is pretty high, that Raditz is level 7 too. Um, you know what? I'm not going to switch out. I am going to keep him in. I am going to heal up though if I need to. Oh boy. Wow. So this thing's not messing around. No messing. This rat is focusing up. And now it's going to lower my defense. So if it hits me with a crit, Orion is basically gone. For all intents and purposes, Orion will be gone. I think my best move would be a switch because I need to switch it to somebody that has not been uh, that has not had their defenses reduced. So Bonfire has the same defense as Tantor. We're going to go into Tantor. I'm only going into Tantor because I think I can get some good experience off of this thing when I knock this thing out. I, it's going to take a couple of tackles to do so. I imagine. Or not! Get that crit and knock it out of here! Goodbye! 
Get out of here, you dumbass rat. Tantor's got that experience, and Youngster Joey is off my books. Good night, Joey. No, I do not want your phone number. I don't want anybody's phone number. But I do need to heal up. So we're going to do that real quick. Grab some potions. I've only got six left. I could have sworn I bought more than that. Uh, wait, that's right. I didn't buy any potions. All I did was buy uh, antidotes, paralyzed heals, and more Pokeballs. So, are you a trainer? Yes, you are. Flower power, huh? What kind of flowers you got blooming in your box? In your bag? In your balls? Oh, you got a Badoo! All right, well, Orion is not the play here. Orion is certainly not the play here. Not taking any chances. Let's set this little bud on fire is what I'm going to do. I'm going to launch this bud into next week. Actually, I don't have any fire type moves yet. When does he go Ember? Level 9? I thought I had it already. I guess I am that oblivious to what's going on in this game <laughs> right now. I, mean, I actually, I am just so excited with how this series has started. Like, episode one went smooth. I mean, there were a couple little hiccups. I feel like I could definitely work on improving, but episode two so far has been very good. I am, I am happy at where we're at. This is, I think, the best quality playthrough we've had on this channel thus far, and seeing these improvements grow over time is, is just the best. I, excuse me, I am very happy to, uh, to see where we're, where this channel is growing and what this uh, channel and the layouts, the, the quality is improving, I can tell. And uh, you guys, you know, again, this is all for you. Um, I want to give you guys the best that I can give you. It might not be the best out there. I can guarantee that. You, there's people out there doing it much better, but for where I am right now and for what I'm able to do, I want to be giving you guys the best I can. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. I hope you guys appreciate that. The Centret is messing with me. Bonfire, I need you to knock this thing out. I actually might need a switch, because if I... Again, this is a Nuzlocke, and this is a harder game. If I switched, if I don't switch and I get hit with confusion and then that thing hits me, I might be cooked. So, uh, let's go to Orion and finish off the Centret. Gotta think smart here. Can't get lost in the commentary. I can't get lost in thought. I really, really have to focus. Um, and again, it's not so randomized. I mean, I haven't played Storm Silver in years. Like, I have played it before, but not really competitively. Just kind of like leisurely, you know, to see how it is. I, I don't ever, I don't think I've finished it. I don't think I've ever finished Storm Silver by any means, but I definitely have checked it out. I've seen other people play it, and, uh, you know, but I don't, I haven't seen it enough to know what's coming or anything, so it, it, it'll definitely be a nice, fresh experience for all of us. See that. Well, that's another switch coming. I'm certainly not staying in, that's for sure. Um. This thing's got bide. So, I'm going to go into Bonfire. It's also got Quick Attack. Oh, that was a crit. Okay. We are going to heal up. This will get us to full. I thought it was going to bide. That's why I went into it. I didn't know they gave C. Quick Attack in this game that early. All right, it's one of those upgrades that Dreano does. You know, it's one of those differences. Um, I think I spam Smoke Screen. I don't have Speed Up enabled right now, unfortunately, but uh, I, I would speed up if I could. Especially now. Don't need to sit here and look at these seeds knocking my bonfire. Like, literally, you're spitting on my flames, man. Alright, so I'm gonna heal up again. Um, gonna heal up again. I don't want to take any chances. I'm gonna have to go buy more potions after this, though, I think. 
I don't want to take any chances of a crit. Especially... Bonfire, I'm protecting her with my life right now. I am protecting her with my life. Uh... I've got a couple of the smoke screens up. I'm gonna start taking my... There's a crit. I'm gonna start taking my uh, chances at attacking it. Now I got a crit! Alright. Well, one more tackle should take it out. Thank you, Bonfire. Thank you. I just need you to get to level 9. I need you to learn a fire-type move. I need you to get a stab move. Please learn. Oh, my God. I... I don't know when this thing wins, Ember. I forget. This thing shouldn't have anything to... to hurt me too badly. True Ruby sucks. Yeah, I think I can... I think... if I tackle this thing over and over... I think I can out-tackle it. Oh, another crit! We are getting crit like crazy in this battle! We're getting crit like crazy! What is going on? My goodness! Absolute goodness! One more tackle. Goodbye. Cherry season just ended. So get off my screen. I... No more cherries. No cherries till next year. Please. If, if, uh, until, until, like, January when imported cherries come in. I don't want to see any more cherries, please. I've had enough cherries for the last, like, four months. I've, I've, I've lived my cherry life. I, I don't need to live anymore. Okay. So I've got two potions left. My money situation is not looking great. I don't have enough to really... I don't really have enough money to go back and, like, buy more potions. I think it would behoove me to just stick it out. And try to just play it. In between episodes, I'm probably going to grind up a little bit. And I think that's the, tri the trick with any of these games is to stay level relevant. And to just make sure you do not fall behind in levels at all because that's when that's when you get in trouble. Uh, Jigglypuff should not have anything I should be worried about. Problem is, I can't hit this thing for much of anything either. I really wish I could speed this up right now, but I can't. I guess I'll take this time, guys, to wish you the best. I hope that everything, with the way the world is right now, with everything going on on this planet, I just hope that everything with you guys is good. I hope that, you know, everybody in your family and your friends are safe and, and healthy. I, it's really, really rough what's going on right now in the world, but I really hope that, uh, you know, everything is, uh, is good with you guys and, um, uh, you know, if any of you are going through a rough time right now, I am sincerely apologetic about that. I really, you know, my prayers are with you. If, if you guys are going through a rough patch in any aspect, just know that I hope that these videos and my content can help you, um, you know, help you avoid some of that a little bit and, and come in and relax and kind of forget about, forget about the bad. So... Appreciate you guys for being here, and, uh, you know, like I said, prayers are with you if you guys are going through anything, but I hope you guys are not, so. Clefairy. So you got a Jigglypuff Clefairy, and I'm gonna guess your other mo Pokemon is going to be a Happiny or something along those lines. Maybe a Chansey? I don't know if I got a crit there. On that tackle, because that did a lot of damage. I don't know if I am doing crits. I think I might just be hitting these things hard right now. I think I might just be doing damage. There we go! Ember on the squad. Ember on the team. Got that fire-type move. Oh, a skitty. Ah. Well, you're gonna get burned, cat! Now, I was looking for what to eat for dinner tomorrow, but I think I figured it out. 
Roasted cat on a spit. <laughs> just to rip that skitty's tail off and just start gnawing on that pink end. Like a frickin' chicken leg. <laughs> uh, okay. It's a delicacy in my household. Skitty tail. <laughs> Alright. So they took that cut tree out of it out. They took that cut tree down out of there. I would get this encounter right now, but I think I want to just kind of book it into the next uh, city. Yeah, they took all these cut tree downs. I think I, I cut trees down. I think I want to just book it into the next city, and then we'll uh, I'll get this last encounter, and then we'll wrap it up. I think for today, got the versus recorder. Okay. We'll never use that. I guarantee you, Lyra, we will never use that. But we do have that dark cave encounter. I do want to get that. So let's uh, let's go to the Pokemon Center and uh, heal up real quick. Now, that guy over there on the right of your screen in the white, the white wife beater, okay? That gentleman is a gentleman, a very important gentleman. I will have to look it up to see what in the next episode. But he is Primo. And Primo has some passwords that we will want to find and, and give to him. He's a very familiar face to every Pokemon fan. He's from the TV show, The Show Me Show. He's Primo the Big Brother. And we need to tell him what we think of him. And he will give us uh, something. I think he'll give us a Pokemon of some kind. So. Okay. I just want to make sure that when we say no, we don't actually ruin our chances of getting what we need from him. And then this guy over here, the juggler, he is going to give us a quiz to give us a Pokemon as well. So we'll do that in the next episode. But we're going to wrap this episode up with an encounter in Dark Cave. So I will meet you guys there. Okay, so Dark Cave. We just passed it on the route into Violet City. But we're just going to run around in here real quick and grab an encounter. What are we going to get? Please be good. I hope to God it's good. Okay. I. It's not the greatest thing we could have gotten. But it is not bad either. Ground types will be... Gosh, do I really, do I really risk a bubble? I don't want to waste any counters. Um, level eight. It it might live a bubble. I'm hitting it with a bubble. It's a weak. Excuse me, my hiccups are off the charts. That's when you know the episode's about to be over, and you know what it should end is because the hiccups are attacking. Oh yeah, we'll be able to handle that. One more bubble, and we'll uh, we'll throw some balls at it. But yeah, we'll catch this, then we'll finish it off, and then the next episode, guys, we're going to go talk to Primo, and then we'll talk to that juggler guy, and uh, see what moves we can make on a team, if need be at all. Chuck this ball. Sandstrew, stay inside, please. Boom. 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 Oops. yanked my cord out of the speaker, so apologize for that. Uh, one more ball. Better stay in this time. Come on, Sandshrew. Stay in it. One. Two. Three. That's how we do it. That's how we roll. And Sandshrew rolls. Curls up in a ball and it rolls. Disliking water, it lives in deep burrows. Over it in arid areas. Well, unfortunately for you, I found you in your burrow, and I hit you with water, so... And then, uh, there it goes. It can roll itself instantly into a ball. As I just told you before the Pokedex entry showed up. I'm like a wizard. Sandshrew. It's a male. Uh, let's name you... Let's name you Gara. Or is that a male? Is that a male character's name? I have no idea. Yeah, it's a male character from Naruto, Gara of the Desert. So we will name you Gara. I'm glad I actually knew that. I, 
I'm actually surprised with myself that I knew that. But I think I've seen this nickname somewhere else before, and that's why I knew. So, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. We are going to take a trip back to the Pokemon Center, and I will continue the outro here. Thanks so much for watching. I'm glad you made it through episode two. Hope to see you in the next one where we are going to explore a little bit of Violet City. We're going to talk to Primo, and we're going to um, talk to that juggler as well and probably get started on the Sprout Tower. Look forward to seeing you then. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and comment down below, and then ring that notification bell as well to stay up to date on when uploads hit live on the channel. We may do some premieres in the future. Who knows? Stick to the channel, and you will be able to catch those as they get released. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time right here on Polosity!